What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro tutorial. So in this one I'm going to be showing you the Auto Ripple tool. Now this tool I actually only discovered recently. If you've seen my top 5 hotkeys um, for Vegas, I would have put this in there actually. Even though it's technically not a hotkey, I would have probably put it in the little extras bit then. Just because it is a really useful thing which I only discovered recently. So you can see here some footage. This is actually my last video on how to upload a YouTube video. Now what I've done is I've pretty much aligned up the clips so the audio and the video are in sync and then I haven't edited any of it. So this is the stage where what I would usually do is I would go through and find a part where let's say I pause or I make a mistake. So let's look at this little gap here. Like I was there but... This now okay so I think this is the bit I wanted to, to remove from this video. So let's say I did, I would usually click here, hit S using the hotkeys I showed in that video. Click here, hit S double tap D so I can select all of these clips and then delete them that would remove them and then what I can do is just drag that into place now the other day I discovered the auto ripple tool which allows you to do this if you turn the auto ripple tool on which is down here you can see it looks like this little this arrow pointing towards a line thing I don't know I'll zoom in so you can see it a bit better but you can see if you hover over it it does say auto ripple so if you click on that and then all you need to do is drag Anywhere where there's not a clip, right? So if you click down here where it's blank, drag out, and then press delete, it will delete that entire section and squish it together. So you don't have to bother doing that yourself. Now, if you do, let's just say, want to delete one clip individually, you can select that clip and then you can do the dragging below. Make sure you don't also drag on the actual cursor itself because that'll just move the cursor. You want to be doing it in a blank spot. But yeah, so if you select the clip first, then drag out, it'll exclusively do it for that clip. So if I hit delete now, bang, that part of the clip goes, the top is unaffected. Um, this does also mean if you just delete stuff regularly, so if I do split it and then press delete, it will automatically seal it up. So just be careful, it can also cause some confusion sometimes. If you do have two aligned clips and you accidentally delete a bit without realising, then it'll cause them to no longer be aligned. So just be careful, make sure you know what you're doing. If you do want to remove something and still actually have a gap, just, just click it again, it'll turn it off and then you can delete it and you can have the gap. But it's a super, super useful tool considering 90% of the edits I actually do on my videos are just jump cuts um so i could easily just turn it on oh see where there's a gap delete okay here's the next bit that needs removed delete okay here's the next bit it is literally doubled the time oh sorry half the time it takes me to edit a video it usually take like 40 45 minutes to edit a video it now takes about 20 minutes 20 minutes just from doing that tool uh using that tool should i say um but yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys so i hope you did find this helpful it is a very simple tool but i thought i had to share it because it is very useful, um, but that's going to be it, so I will see you in the next... Ooh. But like I said, that is it. So if you did find it helpful, please leave a like. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more tutorials. I do tutorials on various things if you are new here. So if you want to if you want to suggest any sort of tutorial, then just suggest it down below in the comment section. I am happy to do them. Um, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.